guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. Mike here, and I'm excited, I'm pumped up, I'm ready to go. I got my Christmas fucking cup. I got John McClane here. It's a Christmas fucking video. Got one more fuck. Yeah, fuck. And I'm in a holly good mood. Did you guys see that game last night? The Packers game? Holy shit, it was a Christmas miracle that didn't take place anywhere near Christmas. Krampus. Krampus. I, I don't think I'm saying that right. Krampus. Krampus, it's not a stomach pain that you get from Christmas holiday food. It's a demon who comes to fuck shit up when Christmas spirit goes by the wayside. It's directed by the director of Trick or Treat and the writer of Superman Returns, a movie that I bet he would like to have marked from the record. But Trick or Treat, he directed that movie, and that was actually a cool holiday movie, so I like it. It's a cool, he's a holiday director. That's kind of a cool little thing to do. This movie just takes and takes and takes from all these other Christmas movies, and that's okay, because uh, you have certain expectations when it comes to Christmas movies. And Christmas horror movies, they exist, but they're never like a mainstream thing. The fact that this was a wide release, and that everybody's talking about stuff, and it's a Christmas horror movie, pretty cool. Um, typically stuff like that is either like cult classic a little bit. I remember Black Christmas a few years ago came out, the remake came out on Christmas, which it, it wasn't good, but it was fucking weird. Um, and this kind of falls around that same territory. It's got a Home Alone feel at certain points where this little kid and his whole family is just an asshole. His dad's Adam Scott, and he does a good job in this movie. I like to see uh, good actors, well, a little bit sort of well-known actors doing horror movies. It's always one of my favorite things to see. He's not a huge actor or anything, but he's one of those people like, I like the cut of his jib. I don't know, I like that guy's face. David Koechner plays the Eddie-type role from Christmas Vacation, and he shows up with like 18 kids that are girls that he wants to be boys, and like, they're all redneck and, and trailer trashy and stuff like that. So it, it, that's literally taken right from the pages of uh, Christmas Vacation. And he's one of those assholes that you actually end up rooting for in the movie. Like you end up liking him. You, you just can't help it. Even though he's supposed to be a dick when the movie starts, even the movie kind of falls in love with him as it moves along. And it's a really fun role and he's perfect for it. He knocks it out of the park. He's probably my favorite part about this movie actor wise is, is, is uh, Champ from Anchorman. I mean, it, he did a great, great job in this movie and he really drove home the comedy. Without him, I don't think the movie would have worked. And Tony Collette, like I said, another Another big actor's name that, that, that could pull off you know, emotional drama, act, acting in a crazy ass Christmas horror movie. I fucking love it. But yeah, you've got the Home Alone sort of feel because like the, the, the house is crammed with these with these relatives and he can't stand it and they're all mean to him and stuff like that and he gets pissed off about Christmas because he still believes in it and him and his weird uh, grandma who doesn't barely speak any English um, have this weird affinity for Christmas. The problem with the movie is that it, it, it's several different acts. Like, it, it's kind of all over the place. Like, the, the first part of the movie is a Christmas movie. It's a family Christmas comedy, albeit a black comedy. All of a sudden, Krampus shows up, uh, Krampus, whatever the fuck, shows up with his horns and, and, and his scary shit, and th they try to do a horror thing for a minute. They try to actually be scary, and it sort of works in that it's really loud, and there's, like, chase scenes and stuff like that. Then they go into Evil Dead territory, and, like, oh, I mean, not that far, but they go almost to Evil Dead territory, where just crazy fucking shit's happening. Like, Krampus's little minions and shit are all over the house. You've seen it in the trailers, doing weird shit, and it's kind of freaky, but it's kind of stupid and funny at the same time, and it's just over the top, and you can't believe what's happening. But ultimately, they just, they, they shoot for that middle line between actually trying to be scary and, and, and being funny and it doesn't really get there. What you end up with at times is kind of a boring horror movie because they, didn't, they don't manage to actually scare you uh, and they don't manage to actually keep the laughs going for the entire film so there's just this dead space that it goes into. Like it really, Jay said himself, it, it, it fizzles it feels like it's right the fuck out. Like every once in a while, they'll come up with something and you'll be like, oh, that was fucking cool. But they never really go into anything enough to make this movie really stand out. It gets kind of boring at some points. The writing really does go downhill, and it's just like, we're in full-on horror mode right now for the next 20 minutes, and, and I'm just not scared. It's not working. But then they'll do some crazy... You'll have a fucking gingerbread man with a knife and you'll start laughing your ass off for a second it's just weird it's really all over the place and it gets pretty boring towards the third act you're really ready for it to end and i really did not like the ending bottom line i'm gonna give krampus a 6.5 i like the actors in it it's a fun movie to watch i'll probably go back since there's there, there is kind of a lack of christmas horror movies to watch i'll probably go back and start watching this on the holidays i think i can add that to the rotation because it's just something different it's something different to feast your eyes on and watch even if it's not the greatest thing of all time comment below let me know what's your favorite holiday themed horror movie not named Halloween of all time. Uh, I love your faces. Follow us at We Watch the Movie on Twitter. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some wham up in you. <laughs>